Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 16 verses 12 to 15. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, the spirit of the truth, he will take you by the hand and guide you into all the truth there is. He won't draw attention to himself, but will make sense out of what is about to happen. And indeed, out of all that I have done and said, he will honor me. He will take from me and deliver it to you. Everything the Father has is also mine. This is why I've said, he takes from me and delivers to you. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. John chapter 16 verses 12 to 15. In today's Gospel, Jesus promises us that when the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide us into all truth. It is important to read this sentence well, because it does not say that today, here and now, we already have the whole truth. What he tells us is that the Holy Spirit will guide us towards the truth. The conclusion is easy. We are on the way. That whole truth is revealed as we pass through the horizon towards which we are heading, but not as something we already possess. It is important to keep this in mind because there are many Christians who believe they are already in possession of the truth. and they are so convinced that they are the custodians of the truth and that except they themselves everyone else is wrong and the rest of the world lives in error we often hear people finding faults with the teachings of the church like the pharisees of the times of jesus some in the church regard traditions of the church is more important than the commandment to love and forgive the reality is a little different there is an image that can help us better understand the situation of the pilgrim church the image is that of a pilgrimage where the one who goes ahead has a lantern that serves to vaguely illuminate the way those who walk behind following this lantern know where they want to go but they have to grope their way a little because darkness surrounds them So are we men and women of this world of all generations walking and searching for the best with many mistakes and errors along the way but always with our eyes on the horizon on the destination we want to reach the kingdom those who work for justice scientists who seek remedies and solutions that make people's lives easier politicians who are honest and want to serve the society christians and members of other religions we are all seeking the best for this world for humanity we have only one lantern and that is the spirit that animates our steps and encourages us to collaborate with everyone to make this world a better place for the sons and daughters of god where no one is excluded or condemned always open to dialogue always full of hope because like jesus like god we believe in humanity and that god is working out his plan of salvation in our history <laughs>